Hello to my Math 186 students. This is your instructor, Mrs. Thomas, and uh, we will be looking at chapter three, um, which is on decimals and also in your um, Math for Nurses pocket guide textbook in chapter three. I want you to understand the concept of a decimal. I want you to be able to read, write, and compare values of decimals, add, subtract, multiply, and divide back, um, decimals. I want you to be able to change fractions of decimals and decimals back to fractions, and also to be able to round off decimals. So I always want to start with the learning objective so we will know why we are here and what you will be learning today. Addition and subtraction, we will do multiplication and division. So I just want to go over just a few problems, just like a refresher. Um, these will be, uh, this will not be your assignment, but these are um, additional practice problems to help you understand um, the concept of decimals. So let's get started. All right, so for number one, I always want you to remember when you, when you are doing adding and subtracting, I want you to always line up the decimals when you're doing addition and subtraction. 18.2, 16 16.6, 16 these are. Okay, so how you will read that is 18 and two tenths. Okay, because you have tenths, hundreds, thousandths, ten thousandths, and it's also in your textbook. Okay, this is 16 and 64 hundredths, is how you will say that out loud. Now, notice I don't have anything here, so we can put in a zero. Okay, we're just going to add 0 plus 4 is 4, 2 plus 6 is 8, 8 plus 6 is 14, carry my 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, plus the 1 I carry is 3. So the answer is 34 and 84 hundredths. Okay. I know for sure y'all have this down pat. Let's do another one. Um, let's do 4. I have 18. Sometimes I don't even see a decimal. Well, the decimal is always behind the last number if you don't have a decimal at all. It's always behind the last number. And we'll fill those in with zero after we do the rest. So 0 0.165. All right, we're lining up the decimals. 2.99. You can fill all of your blank spaces in with zeros, okay? With zeros. Zero plus five is five. Six plus nine is 15, carry your one. Nine plus one is 10, plus one is 11. Carry that one and bring down your decimal. Eight plus two is 10, plus one is 11. Carry that one and one plus one is two. And how you would read the decimal is 21 and 155 thousandths. Because you have tenths, hundreds, thousandths place. Okay, so remember how to read and write your decimals on this one. Okay, so far so good. Let's go to subtraction. Okay, we can choose any one of these. Let's go with number six. 94 and one tenths minus 54 and 8 tenths, okay? So I notice one minus eight, I need to borrow, okay? Unless the eight was on top. So I'm going to borrow from the four, making the four a three, and this becomes 11. 11 minus eight is three, and bring out your decimal. Well, I have three minus four. Hmm, that's gonna be impossible to subtract. So now let me borrow from the nine, making the nine an eight, and this becomes a 13, okay? So 13 minus four is nine, and eight minus five is three. So it's 39 and three tenths is your answer. Okay, I don't think you have any problems with this at all. Let's do number nine. Okay, I have eight and one thousandths, okay? Tenths, hundreds, thousands, one thousandths, minus 
22 hundredths, okay? 22 hundredths, okay? I'm gonna subtract, fill that blank space in with a zero. One minus zero is one. Zero minus two, I have to need to borrow from that. 10, making it a nine, which is make, uh, which I'm gonna have to borrow from the eight, making it a seven. So this becomes a 10. So 10 minus two is eight, right? I had to borrow from the 10, making this a, a nine. So nine minus eight, nine minus two is seven. And seven minus zero is seven, okay? So the answer is seven and 781 thousandths is how you will pronounce that one. Okay. okay, let's go to multiplication and division. So let me give you a time to copy uh, those practice problems down okay. as a reference. and division. Um, sometimes I may not have my nifty calculator with me, so I have to um, solve the calculations manually. So for, ex for example, number 11, I have 6 and 813,000 times 100. Zero times three is zero. Zero times one is zero. Zero times eight is zero. Zero times six is zero. Follow? Okay, good. Okay, next I'm in the second column. So I'm coming down to the second column. Zero times three is zero. Zero times one is zero. Zero times eight is zero. And zero times six is zero, sticking out the front. Okay. All right, this is my third number that I'm looking at. So one, two, third column here. One times three is three. One times one is one. One times eight is eight. One times six is six. Bring down my zeros. Zero plus three is three. Zero plus one is one. Zero plus eight is eight. And bring down the six. Now I need you to help me count the decimals. So one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. So one, two, three. So the answer is, 681 and 3 tenths. You can drop the zeros if they're on the end. You may drop the zeros if they are on the end. Okay. I don't think y'all gonna have any problems with these. Um, I'm looking at another one. Number 15 is 26 times 14.1. Now, what I normally do is, if I have a decimal and a whole number, you can write it like this. You can write it like this and multiply it out. Okay, either way, you're gonna get the correct answer. Okay, all right, maybe this setup looks better. Okay, six times one is six. Six times four is 24, carrier two. Six times two, six times one is six plus two is eight. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 1 is 2, bring down your 6, 4 plus 2 is 6, 8 plus 8 is 16, carry your 1, and 2 plus 1 is 3. You move your decimal one time, so that's 1. So the answer is 366 and 6 tenths on that one. Okay, on that one. I think that looks better multiplying 14.1 uh, times 26. Okay, let's look at 16 on division. Let's look at number 16 on division. So for number 16, 0 0.86 divided by 0 0.14. Okay, 
So 86 hundredths divided by 14 hundredths. And remember we talked about the top or the first number goes in. The second number goes out. Okay. Okay, in and out. Okay, this goes inside, this goes outside. In and out. Well, what am I going to do with all these decimals I have floating around? Well, first you want to do, you want to move the decimal to behind the fourth. So you would need to move it how many times? One, two. Okay, so if I move it twice here, I need to move it twice here. So one, two. So my decimal should be right behind the six. Okay, so I'm thinking about my 14 timetables. 14 times one will give me 14. 14 times two would give me 28. 14 times three would give me what? 42, good. 14 times four would give you what? 56. 14 times five would give you, is that 70? Good. Okay, 14 times six will give you, what is that? Is that 84 guys? Okay, guys and girls. Okay, just making sure, make sure I have it right. Um, what about 14 times seven? Okay, anybody know the answer to that one? Okay, carry the eight, you carry the, um, so you got 14, four times seven is 28, carry the two, is that 98? Good, good, good. Okay, so 14 won't go into zero. 14 won't go into eight because it's too small, but 14 will go into 86, six times. That gives you 84. Six minus four is two. Okay, well, let me start dropping zeros. 14 goes into 20 how many times? Once. One time 14 is 14, all right? 10 minus four, that gives me six, right? Okay, let me drop another zero. 14 goes into 60 how many times? Because five is too many, so it has to be four. And that is what, 56, all right? And I brought down 10 minus 6 gave me 4. So 14 goes into 40 how many times? Would that be 2? Okay. I'm still dividing, guys. Still on it. So that's 28. All right. And it looks like it's going to be a repeating decimal, guys. All right. Let me drop another 0. I just like the intrigue of it all. So that will give me another what? 2. Is that 2, guys? Okay. Just keep. Is that 2 or is that 1? All right, that should be, I think it should be 20. 20 and 14 goes into 20. Guys, y'all check that for me. Check that for me, for your teacher, please. All right, and it looks like it's starting back at 60. Mm -hmm. I think it's 6.142, 142, 142 is that repeating decimal. 142, 142, okay? Make sure you go back and look at it, but I'm, I'm searching for that. Let me clean it up just in case you need to write that down in your notes. I think it's, yes, because it looks like it keeps, when I drop down another zero, I have 60, and that will be four. Uh-huh. I think it's a repeating decimal. 6.142142 is absolutely correct. Okay? And I think you're going to be able to do these fairly quickly. I don't think these are going to take a long time at all uh, once you know that the top number, the first number goes in, inside. So for number 17, if you were going trying to get started, the first number in, the second number out. And that's how you would divide on um, those. Okay. Guys, I think y'all are on a roll with these decimals. You can get adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. Okay. And on this next step with our conversion. I'll give you a minute to conversions go from fractions to decimals I think I'm gonna give you an extra treat we're gonna go from fraction 
to a decimal percent. Okay, it's just an extra added treat. Okay, okay. So for the fraction, okay, for 21, okay, they gave you the fraction one over eight. And it says, well, what is the decimal? I want you to divide. We talked about division already. The top number in, the denominator out. Eight won't go into one, so before I can start dropping zeros, I need a decimal. So eight will go into 10 one time. One time eight is eight. 10 minus eight is two. Let me drop another zero. Eight goes into 20 how many times? Two times, good. Two times eight is 16, okay? My remainder is what? What's 10 minus six? Four, good. Drop another zero. Okay, eight goes into four evenly five times with no remainder. You have your decimal right there. Okay, and most of the time it does have a zero in front. 0 0.125 is your decimal. One eighth, the decimal is 0 0.125. Okay, well, Ms. Thomas, it didn't ask for a percent, but what is the percent? I want you to move the decimal places, two places to the right. So the decimal is in between the zero and the one. If you move it twice, where would it be? Okay, so let me give you an example. If I'm here, and I told you to move it twice, one, two, it's in between what? Two and five, so this will be 12.5%. That's it. Guys, I think you guys, I think you have it. I don't think you're gonna have any problems out of these decimals. Let's try another one, let's try 22. We have 10 over 50, okay. The top number goes in, your numerator goes in, your denominator goes out. Five won't go into 10, but before you can start dropping zeros, you need to add a decimal, okay? So 50 will go into 100 though, two times evenly, with no remainder, okay? And I always took a zero in front. So the decimal is just as easy, just division, 0 0.2. Well, Ms. Thomas, what is the end of percent? Well, if the answer is 0 0.2, you always move your decimal two places to the right for if you want to make, um, to go from decimal to percent. Well, it's in between the two, zero and two. So one, two, any blank space, I want you to fill it in with a zero. The answer is 20. 20% on that one, 20%. Okay, Ms. Thomas, so far so good, I think I got it, okay. Well, what if they gave you a decimal and told you to go backwards? So let me get another color. Okay, let's do 20, number 26. Okay, let's do 26. Okay, the decimal is 0 0.1, 4, and 2. Okay, let's do decimal, okay? Well, Ms. Thomas, I know how to get to a percent. I just move the decimal two places to the right. And if I'm in between zero and one, if I move it twice, one, two, I'm in between a four and a two. So I know the percent will be 14.2, but I don't know how to get the fraction. Well, it's how we say it out loud, okay? How would you, what is this? 142 what? Give me the tenths, hundreds, thousands, Tell me what it is, okay? So this is tens, hundreds, thousands. So if it's in the thousands place, I want you to do 142 over what? 1,000, that's it. It's how you would read it out loud. How you? How would you read it, okay? Tens, okay, all right? And that's when the place value comes in. This is tens, this is hundreds. Right, hundreds. This is thousands. Got to know your place value. Tenths, hundreds, thousands. So this would be 142 over 1,000. And then I will need you to help me reduce my fraction. I always go in half because I know that I can get something in half. So half of $142. Let me think about that. How much would you get and how much would I get? Okay, $71, because if one thing I know, I know about some money. Okay, so that's be 71, okay? And what if we split $1,000? How much would I get and how much would you get? Good, 500. Okay, am I done? Can you think of anything that will go into 571, but it must be the exact same number? 
Have you thought about it? I was thinking about three, but when I divided 71 divided by three, I was thinking I was gonna get a repeating decimal, okay? And when I divided by four in my mind, um, I knew that it would not be, um, it would not come out even. So I could not think of another, uh, another number, okay? So let's see, I'm just thinking out loud. Uh, let's try 28, okay? You know I don't want to leave you hanging. Let's try 28, 8.6. 8 okay, let me, I need to erase it, so let me put it right here for those who, I don't know how, or you can see down on the board. What number was that again? 28. 8.6. Hmm, what is it as a percent? I want you to move it two places. Okay, well, it's in, in between the 8 and the 6, so 1, 2. Okay, 860. Got it. Got that. That makes sense. Well, Ms. Thomas, I don't know how to write that as a fraction. Okay, think of this as 8 hole. The big 8 hole in front of the mixed number. How would you read this? Six what? Tenths. Could you help me reduce it? Okay. Two goes into six three times, two goes into ten five times, right? So this is eight and three fifths as a fraction. If you said, Ms. Thomas, I thought it was 43 over five. That's fine. It's just improper. Eight times five is 40, plus three is 43. So that's absolutely right. So it's eight and three on those on converting. I don't think y'all are going to have any problems, but I just wanted to make sure I had given you at least um, some practice problems to understand uh, the next few chapters. So. All right, students, I hope this has helped. Uh, please log on to Zoom if you need uh, any further assistance. I have the Zoom as well as the passcode on your syllabus. And I will also uh, put it up in the Blackboard, Blackboard Ultra for you guys as well. So have a great day, and I hope that you learned uh, some decimals today. Have a good day, students.